Hello everyone. So in this media, we are going to learn about high voltage. Basically, I thought of starting with the safeties in high voltage because which was often asked. But then I thought let me cover other aspect also ki what is high voltage because some people may have confusion. What are the advantages of high voltage? And then we go on to the safety aspect. On ship, what is high voltage? On land, what is a high voltage? What is the difference between both of them? So all these aspects we will be covering. Okay. And what are the advantages and disadvantages all, all together? Okay. So let's begin the video. Now, when we talk about ship, then ship operates with a three phase 60 hertz, 440 volt in insulated neutral earth power system supply, which is being generated and distributed on board and falls in low voltage system. This meets the power demand of medium capacity motor up to 200 kilowatt. Okay. This is the general trend. Now, before going on to the need and all these aspects, I wanted to cover that what is the definition of high voltage. When we talk about high voltage, now the numerical definition of high voltage depend on the context. Two factor. Consider classifying voltage as high. High voltage are possibly of causing a spark in the air. The voltage which causes spark in the air and the danger of electric shock by contact or proximity. The definition may refer to the voltage between two any conductors of a system or between any conductor and ground. Okay. In electric transmission engineering, high voltage is usually considered any voltage over approximately 33,000 volt. Now you may be surprised. Is it uh, so in case of marine? No, that is different. Just we are seeing the values. The classification is based on design of apparatus, apparatus and insulation. Now, this is classification as per each one of them. It is not so much important for off-valve, but I have just put it for you. You can refer if you want by pausing the video. What is classed as high voltage in marine uh, practice? Now, when we talk about in marine practice, voltage below 1000 AC, that is 1 kV are considered low voltage and high voltage is any voltage above 1 kV. Typical marine high voltage system voltages are 3.3 kV, 6.6 kV and 11 kV. Now, there may be an obvious question ki in the beginning I discussed that we have 440 volt system and it is sufficient to give power or generate of uh, support the motor for around 200 kilowatt. But then why there is a need of high voltage? Now you see the sizes of the ships are increasing. So the machineries are also increasing. They are getting bigger and bigger. So the need for the high voltage is increasing. This is the first and fundamental aspect. There are other things as well which we will be discussing about the losses and all in the advantages further. But this is the basic requirement ki why there is a need of the high voltage system on the ship. Now, the major difference between high voltage supply and low voltage supply on board ships are high voltage systems are most extensive with complex networks and connection. Isolated equipment must be earthed down. Access to high voltage area should be strictly limited and controlled. Isolation procedures are more involved. Switching strategies should be formulated and recorded. Specific high voltage test probes and instruments must be used. Diagnostic insulation resistance testing is necessary. High voltage systems are usually earthed neutral and use current limiting. Special high voltage circuit breakers have to be installed. There has to be a special high voltage circuit breakers which are supposed to be installed. Why high voltage in ships? High power requirement on board vessel is the foremost reason for the evaluation of high voltage in the ship that we have already seen. High power requirement have been necessitated by development of larger vessels required for container transport particularly for reefer containers because every reefer container you have to maintain that temperature so for that you need high volt gas carriers needing extensive cooling electrical propulsion for ships with a large electrical power demand it is necessary to utilize the benefits of a high voltage hv installation the design benefits related 
to the simple ohms law relationship that current for a given power is reduced as the voltage is increased working at high voltage significantly reduces the relative overall size and weight of the electrical power equipment now there are certain advantages and disadvantages of using high voltage when we talk about advantages for a given power higher voltage means lower current so we have a lower current resulting in reduction in size of the generator motors cables etc saving of spaces and weight ease of installation then we have reduction in cost of installation lower losses more efficient utilization of generated power reduction in short circuit levels in the system which decides the design and application of the electrical equipment used in the power system now when we talk about the disadvantages then we have certain disadvantages as well higher insulation requirement for cable and equipment used in the system because the chances and in the proximity that it develops are more okay for uh, shock higher risk factor and the necessity for strict adherence to stringent safety procedures okay so these are the two things but if th these can certainly be catered okay we can we we are very much prone for the safety so there if you look at then we have hardly have any disadvantage now these are the certain safety things that we will be discussing insulated gloves insulated matting insulated ladders rescue uh, rescue pods then we have life saving kits you must have done, done in your high voltage uh, this course uh, you must have seen earthing and short circuit kits earthing clamps and fitting operating rods voltage detector warning sign and tips partial discharge detector gas detection equipment okay now when we talk about customized life saving kits then we have standard component include insulated rescue pole Seffords hook we also tell it LV uh, low voltage or medium voltage detector with insulated operating rod I have already shown you these things in image case of insulating gloves one pair low voltage and uh, medium voltage insulating gloves these are different of different material insulated wire cutter insulated platform or matting CPR electric shock victim notice okay mechanical protection gloves these notices also are very important you need to mention these things in your uh, answers class 4 insulating matting so these are they, there is a category for that it will hold up to 33 kilo volt so the classification is categorized customized earthing kit we also have now there is also arc flash protection so we have different special design suits which i'll be showing it to you but what is arc flash uh, first of all arc flash is the result of a rapid release of energy due to an arcing fault whenever there is an arcing fault if there is a release of a rapid release of energy so that is known as an uh, arcing fault we supply the latest in arc flash safety equipment including arc flash switching suits arc flash coveralls arc flash jackets and trousers arc flash other workers so these things we are we, uh, we I'll be showing it to you so this is the protection for this arc flash so this is an additional safety wherein you can sub categorize it and you can tell all these things okay I hope it is clear for you what is high voltage and what is difference between high voltage on land and high voltage on ship what is the range of voltage that is categorized as high voltage what are the advantages and disadvantages of high voltage why there was a need of high voltage on the ship and then what are the safeties certainly uh, that are required for high voltage on ships thank you so much thank you for your valuable time